Hey everyone, so Argonath here from The Right Way. I uh, got a new article explaining um, what's kind of happening in uh, Singapore. Uh, this is um, published on the New Zealand Herald website and taken from news.com.au, which is an Australian um, news media organisation. And just shows you the disingenuousness of some of the reporting that's going on, right, about this. Because they're all just looking for headlines, because... They need shocking headlines now to try and get people to read their articles and stuff. Um, so the real thing we want to get to is at the very end of the article, so you just need to bear with me for a bit um, as we get to the end, and then we'll see why they're being so disingenuous. So look at look at this shocking headline, right? COVID-19 coronavirus. Singapore extends restrictions amid deadly outbreak. Oh, you must be thinking, geez, what's going on in Singapore? Are they having like hundreds of people dying every day or something it must be such a deadly outbreak let's have a read of what's actually happening for months singapore has been held up as one of the world's true COVID success stories after pursuing a COVID zero strategy the virus was virtually eliminated eliminated and the nation emerged from lockdown with incredibly low death toll it is one of the most vaccinated countries on earth with the ministry of health confirming 84 percent of the population was fully vaccinated this week for most of the pandemic, Singapore, like Australia, was committed to zero transmission model, but in June this year that all changed when the government announced a drastic pivot to instead live with COVID, because you cannot keep um, zero COVID cases forever, right? Because people have to be able to go back to work. Singapore is a tourist country. It's a um, traveling hub, right? So many planes come through Singapore. They can't stay locked down forever because that's their economy, basically. So they have to live with it. Whatever the, the case may be, they have to carry on. The bad news is that COVID-19 may never go away. The good news is it's possible to live normally with it in our midst, wrote the finance minister. Um, we can't eradicate it, but we can turn the pandemic into something much less threatening like influenza, blah, 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 and get on with our lives. Good on you, Singapore, because that's what you need to do. But with the lethal Delta strain wreaking havoc across the go globe, it didn't take long for Singapore's situation to worsen once restrictions were eased under the new strategy, leading to a significant surge in COVID cases, hospitalizations, and fatalities. You must be thinking, man, they must have thousands of people in hospital. They must be having hundreds of people dying each day. Um, and now Singapore is experiencing its deadliest surge yet, confirming its highest single-day COVID-19 death toll on Wednesday. What actually happened? A total of 18 people died from COVID on Singapore on Wednesday, a grim new record for the tiny nation of just 5.6 million. That same day, 3,862 new cases were recorded, were recorded, followed by 2,937 on Thursday. So instead of hundreds and hundreds of people dying each day, actually 18 people died from COVID, and more than likely those 18 people were at the very risk um, category, so probably had comorbidities, so other illnesses which were exacerbated by COVID, um, and it could be that they might have died from their um, illnesses later on anyway, right? But because they had COVID and they died, we just put it down to having died from COVID. Okay. Of course there are going to be deaths. Probably 18 people died just normally in Singapore on that day as well. I wouldn't be surprised about that. Um, even the influenza causes people to die as well, right? In 2019 in New Zealand, 500 people died uh, because of the influenza um, in that year. But we didn't see too many things said about um, those people dying back then or um, having to lock down because 500 people died because of influenza. So they go on a bit about what's going on and some of the um, uh, restrictions being put back onto um, the Singapore people, but they're not going into full lockdown or anything like that. So they're just put, doing more masks, more social distancing, that kind of stuff, compared to New Zealand, which we are still in level three lockdown in certain areas, especially where I am as well. But the main thing is if we go right to the end of the article, we get the truth about what's going on. In the past 28 days, an overwhelming 98.7% of local cases were either asymptomatic or experienced only mild symptoms. Just 0.1% were admitted to intensive care, the government said. There we go. Why is that not given right at the beginning of the article, right? 
they know that people don't read all the way to the end of an article a lot of people don't do that and they miss out this very important piece because they want to scare people they want to scare you into submission don't listen to them right if you get vaccinated then overwhelmingly you won't die and you won't have to go into hospital so i encourage you to get vaccinated if you haven't but i respect your choice as to whether you want to get vaccinated or not um, and then you'll obviously have to bear the consequences of what happens if you do get sick um, but there we go right that paragraph so sums it up completely 98.7 percent as close to 100 percent as you can get were either asymptomatic or experienced mild symptoms just 0.1 percent were admitted to host intensive care is that what you would call a deadly outbreak i mean these journalists just want to scare people right that's all they want to do it keeps people reading their friggin articles and so on so i've brought you this video so that you don't have to go and read this particular article um or you might have done it already anyway <laughs> Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you believe and agree with me that the journalists are just scaremongering for getting clicks and readership? Um, and they should not be doing that because it's not helping the population and wherever you happen to be. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And um, please subscribe as it helps um, with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.